I think uh, it's changing. Every day is changing. Um, technology has definitely disrupted the industry. Um, and if you look at mobile, mobile has done it really well. I think this year is the first year that mobile spend has overtaken desktop, especially in the US. Um, and that's really great. I think publishers, uh, media planners, technology companies, they're all reassessing their strategies to be able to come up with greater content, richer ads, better experiences for users. Um, and I think, you know, we're living in a world where it's uh, increasingly impatient audience. And I think, yeah, definitely the users want the information, they want it fast. And we as an industry just need to think about different ways that we can make more creative ads that are impactful, engaging and user friendly. Um, I think publishers have to become a little bit more granular in the uh, digital environment as a challenge that all publishers are faced with at the moment. Um, and I think you know that there are different devices that have come into the picture. Um, publishers are now forced to think a little bit outside the box, work with different technology companies uh, and their operating systems to think of more uh, innovative ways again to, to use these different environments and these different operating systems to come up with new ways um, to engage their audiences both with content and then of course with the advertisers. Um, and this is definitely changing models, it's changing every day um, and I think you know, pu pu publishers need to keep ahead of that curve um, if they want to be successful. Um, well I think ad blocking is here to stay, it's not going to go anywhere and there will always be a new way to block an ad. Um, but I think, you know, again, as an industry, we need to look at relevance and creativity. Uh, we certainly are challenged, for example, mobile uh, being, you know, targeting is, is a big challenge for mobile providers. But you, then again, you, you're looking at different companies out there that are using different techniques now to improve that situation. You have location targeting, device targeting and first party data. So I think, you know, publishers need to to use this uh, to their advantage and they need to think of better ways where the, where the user can feel safe in that environment and feel actually that they want to transact their data and share that information for the exchange of really good content, including advertising. Um, I think it's a mixture of First of all, they, they need to be aligned their strategies. So advertisers need to work closer with publishers and technology companies uh, to, to have better targeting and uh, I think better content and, and relevant messages. Um, but then again, today we've heard you know the IAB are doing a, a whole lot with their lean technique to improve uh, the, the uh, situation for users online to make them feel like they have some say in which ads um, they are able to see. Um, and all these little steps are steps forward uh, in an industry which is just improving advertising. Um, I definitely think publishers and advertisers need to work closer with tech companies. Um, you know, technology is changing every single day. I spoke you know, earlier about the fact that operate, operating systems are changing, devices are changing. Uh, Apple seems, seems to be leading the way, I think, with a lot of the applications today. Um, but really, it's aligning strategies in this creative, uh, innovative future. It's not about working in independent silos. Um, and just, I think, you know, technology is definitely going to be a driver and a leader in, in how good we become as an advertising industry. You know, Google and Facebook have uh, been very successful at the way they've used data and I think traditional publishers can actually learn a lot from them. Um, we are now living in a world where it's all about the premiumness is not only in the content, it's in the audience and the audiences are shifting, they're impatient, they're on different apps. What's relevant to an audience on one app today which may be Facebook or Google relevant app could be very different let's say tomorrow um, and be on a much more traditional publisher but again the same audience. So I think you know, all publishers have a lot to learn from these giants because they have proven that they've used data, you know, successfully. But then again, they can do just as well. And I think, uh, you know, we, we heard earlier on the panel again that we, you know, other traditional publishers should be using uh, the, these giants uh, as, as promotional techniques to get users to their site and to prove that it's the user that is where the quality sits and not just the environment. Um, I definitely think probably 
be relationships, relationships with uh, you know, tech providers, the advertisers, publish, publishers with publishers, um, and users. I think uh, in this fast-paced changing environment, it's impossible to stay ahead without alliances in place. I think smart data, um, you know, publishers are sitting, so many publishers sitting on good data out there, just waiting to be unleashed and being able to do more creative things with it. They need to take more control, which is probably my third point, take control of what you already own, look for different ways to, you know, get out there, do more with, with not only, you know, uh, good content, but all the other different changing factors in a very real time world that is influencing, uh, you know, your status as a publisher in terms of the value that you can bring to the programmatic landscape, to your audience, and of course, to your partners.